Could a black hole one day consume us all? Millions of them are scattered across the universe, silently lurking, just waiting. And if humanity ever accidentally created one, well, you'd better buckle up, because things are about to get seriously sucked, literally. Roughly 3,000 light years from us, there's a black hole bright enough to spot with the naked eye. Fortunately, Earth is still safely distant from this stellar monster, and plenty of others like it. Scientists estimate there could be around 100 million black holes roaming just within our own galaxy. These dark giants are the remains of massive stars, about 10 to 20 times larger than the Sun, that collapsed under their own immense gravity after going supernova. Stellar black holes are relatively common, each about 16 kilometers, 10 miles across. But they're not the biggest beasts out there. Enter supermassive black holes. Their diameter rivals the entire solar system, and their mass exceeds that of a million suns combined. One such colossus, Sagittarius A star, sits right at the heart of the Milky Way. Now in theory, even a black hole no bigger than a pinhead, just one millimeter, about 1 25th of an inch, could annihilate our planet if it wandered too close, thanks to its incomprehensible density and gravitational pull. Our fate would hinge entirely on whether we crossed its event horizon, the infamous point of no return. Once something passes that boundary, it would need to move faster than light to break free. And spoiler alert, that's impossible. If Earth drifted too near, the side closest to the black hole would begin to stretch toward it as our atmosphere started leaking away into space. Massive chunks of the planet would then tear off, spiraling into the void. Should Earth fall into orbit around the black hole, we'd face a nightmarish process called tidal heating. The black hole's uneven gravitational forces would constantly twist and stretch our planet, causing extreme friction deep inside, superheating Earth's core to catastrophic levels. Expect earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and colossal tsunamis, a triple threat of doom. Over time, Earth itself would stretch in a gruesome process nicknamed spaghettification, not the delicious kind involving sauce and cheese. Picture this, you trying to heroically confront the black hole. Your arms being closer would accelerate faster than your feet, causing your body to stretch into an ever thinner line. Elastic superpowers might help, but probably not enough. For a typical stellar black hole, this spaghettification could start happening hundreds of kilometers outside the event horizon. For supermassive black holes, however, scientists believe the stretching would happen after you've already crossed inside, giving you a few more seconds of hopelessness. Regardless of size, anything that ventures too close gets torn apart at the atomic level. Humans, planets, stars, no exceptions. And sadly, Earth wouldn't be alone. The collapse would shatter our entire solar system. Without the sun's stable pull, planets could spiral into one another, causing chaotic collisions. To make matters worse, our asteroid belt would also be dragged toward us. And of the 552,894 known asteroids, roughly 200 are over 100 kilometers, 62 miles wide. Getting hit by just one would obliterate us long before we even had a chance to stretch into cosmic noodles. Honestly, it's hard to say which death would be worse. All the matter from our solar system would eventually spiral into the black hole's accretion disk, blazing brightly as it generated lethal amounts of radiation. Even if we somehow survived the asteroid bombardment, the radiation would finish the job. And here's a wild thought. Astronomers have discovered rare planets orbiting two stars, called circumbinary planets. Maybe, just maybe, Earth could orbit both the black hole and the sun. But honestly, the extreme gravitational forces would likely make our world uninhabitable long before that. Or worse, we could be flung into the freezing void of space or swallowed by either the sun or the black hole itself. Sorry, but there's really no winning scenario here. But and it's a big but. What if we manage to survive? Imagine a hyper-reinforced spaceship somehow making it through the event horizon. Inside, everything we understand about physics would break down. Gravity, the speed of light, the way atoms behave, all of it could change beyond recognition. The truth is, nobody knows what's inside a black hole. Could we be sucked into another dimension? 
find ourselves in a parallel universe? Or maybe, just maybe, we're already inside a black hole right now. But that's a question for another story.